up guys, I'm Cole Seeley, uh, former motocross and supercross racer. We're here at my shop where I house a lot of my drift cars and all my motorcycles. We're here today checking out some of my Harleys. Been to the Harleys for the last five or six years. Uh, I've ridden across country quite a few times and really enjoy just ripping canyons or cross country drives or whatever it may be. Started out with an 01 FXDX and then slowly transitioned into an FXR and Road Glide behind me. So we're gonna do a little bike check and see what we got going on on these bikes. All right, so first uh, we're gonna check out my 93 FXR. Bought this from somebody in West Virginia and had it shipped over. I'd ridden Lance's bike, uh, the FXR with the 111 in it and loved it. Immediately got this thing over here, it's bone stock, came with the Evo in it. And the first thing I did was take the Evo out of it, order a 111 from SNS for it. And we threw that in there, which was kind of odd because it was like a bone stock bike with a badass engine in it. And then we just started slowly chipping away with risers and pegs and obviously exhaust and all the other little pieces that kind of complete the bike. Came together pretty quick. I love this thing, it's like a little hot rod super comfortable, just has all the power in the world as soon as you twist the throttle. So by far one of my, my favorite motorcycles I've ever owned. All right, so first up, the bar setup. Uh, I always ran like a, I think I had a six or a seven inch riser on my last bike. When we were building this bike, we went with a nine and a half thrashing riser with a mid bar. And I don't know, just everything kind of complements itself with the gauges, everything just looks really tight and neat, attention to detail kind of guy. So I really love just the fit and finish of everything. Being almost six foot tall, it's really comfortable for me. Arms are at a, you know, a good height and feels good cruising as well as, you know, trying to get a little aggressive through some of the corners. With the foot control setup, we went with the P54 foot peg. I'm a big moto guy, obviously, so wanted something kind of similar feel to what I'd feel on my moto bike. Good grip, as well as good ground clearance when we're ripping through the canyons, having fun. And in the backs, so we just went with the slims, throw my feet up there on the long rides, kind of stretch the legs out. With the bag setup, we just went with the Thrashin uh, Essentials bags. I like to have bags on my bike no matter what. Obviously, if I'm going on a long ride, I'll take the bagger, but when we're ripping around the canyons, sometimes you leave the house, you got a hoodie on, it gets warmer, you want to throw that in the bag, UV sleeves, whatever, sunscreen, water. It's just nice to have something to throw in the bags and not leave the house or come back bare bones. And I uh, went with the bar bag up front, throw my phone in there, whatever, it's just easy. It works for long rides too. I've done long rides, weekend trips, filled everything in the essentials bag still, but um, more so just like canyon rips. I like just to have my essential stuff when I leave the house. As far as performance stuff goes, just went with the race tech gold valve in the front, uh, just a little stiffer setup. And then the rear, we just did a 14 inch shock, just a little bit more ground clearance, a little bit more hold up. We'll give you guys a sound bite at the end of this video, but for exhaust, we went with the Thrashin anti-reversion stainless exhaust system. Uh, sounds great. I really don't want anything to be too loud and be obnoxious, but still want it to sound, you know, throaty and, and really good when you get on the gas. So that's why I went with that setup. All right, so that's my 93 FXR. We're gonna go check out the 2020 Road Glide now. I love this bike. As soon as I rode a Harley, I knew I wanted a bagger just for the long trips. Ridden to and from Sturges on this twice now, but about 10,000 miles on it. Yeah, I got it just under two years ago. As soon as this thing came out, I loved the color, loved everything about it, and, and knew I just wanted to be comfortable for those longer rides and, and the road trips that I do with all my my buddies. As soon as I got this thing back from the dealership, I, I didn't even want to ride it with the stock bars. I hated them so much because they're like wheelbarrow bars, ugly, and they just aren't as comfortable as they should be knowing what I had ridden with, like with the thrash and riser and bar setup and knowing that that setup could be transferred over to a bagger was, I could not wait to get those things off, even though it was a little bit of work, but the payoff is tenfold on what it's worth. It's, it makes the bike a completely different bike, so much more comfortable, so much easier to ride and looks so much better. So I, I think I might've put like 50 miles on it with the stock bars and needed the thrashing setup like immediately so so having a little longer reach we went with the six inch straight riser from thrashing uh, as well as a high bar i can see my gauge is good everything's comfortable and safe feels dialed for me so for foot controls on this one we went with the apex floorboards from thrashing i like to lean over a lot when i am taking corners in the candies and stuff. So I was always dragging the stock ones. Went with these, a lot more ground clearance, uh, a little more grip as well. And then went with the short brake arm and uh, the, the thrashing tip too. More performance than stock for sure, but uh, also a little bit more comfort added in too. So the thrashing adjustable brake arm uh, comes in three settings, high, mid, and low. Uh, I ran it in mid for a while, but now we're in low. Just a little bit more of a comfort thing. Feels more like a moto bike to me. On the left side, we went with the minus one inch thrashing shifter, uh, as well as the shift tip. And then and the thrashing linkage just helps dial in like exact feel you want, get the height you want, get the length you want. And I mean, comfort is everything, especially when you're on long rides. So this is uh, 
very, very comfortable setup for me. And it's nice to know that you can pretty much get any position you want out of your shifter when you have all these adjustable parts. So for suspension on this one, I really didn't think that that was gonna be so crucial when I got the bike, but I'm very, very picky when it comes to suspension setup, having tested for a decade trying to dial in my suspension. Legends hooked me up with front and rear suspension on this thing, and it is night and day. The stock stuff is just super divey, super soft, and feels like you're not as in control as you can be. So huge shout out to the guys at Legend for dialing this thing in because it is probably one of the biggest uh, night and day differences that I've felt on a motorcycle in a long time. All right, so thanks for checking out the Harleys. Since retiring, I've collected quite a few dirt bikes that I've custom built over the years. So we'll check those out next and then we'll check out a sound clip of the FXR outside. These are the bikes that uh, I get to make a living from and enjoy my Harley even more. So over here we have the 73 Elsinore that I'm still waiting to restore. I've had this for a couple years now, but haven't gotten around to it. This is a bike that I raced at uh, Red Bull Straight Rhythm a couple years back, kind of a trophy piece now. And then these are the two bikes that I've built for Imagination uh, last year and this year. And this bike's still pretty filthy from a graphic shoot that I just did with uh, SKDA. But I gotta get home, so I'm gonna take the FXR home today. Uh, we'll start the thing up and see how it sounds so you guys can check that out.